This video applies to Bobcat loaders, excavators, and toolcat work machines manufactured since 2013, equipped with Bobcat branded engines. A loader is used for this demonstration, but the procedure is the same for all products. Always read and understand the operation and maintenance manual before performing maintenance work. Always wear safety glasses when performing maintenance, and work gloves are preferred for many procedures. Follow the service schedule maintenance intervals found in your machine's operation and maintenance manual. Record the date and hours of each oil change and keep it with your machine records for future reference. And always use Bobcat brand engine oil and filters to ensure you get the greatest performance and the proper protection. To begin, park the machine on a level surface. Run the engine until it reaches normal operating temperature, then stop the engine. Open the rear door, access cover, or tailgate of your machine to access the engine oil drain. Your manual will show the correct action and location. Some machines will utilize a drain hose, while others will only use a drain plug. If your machine uses a drain hose, be sure to route the drain hose as described in your manual so all the oil is drained. Place the container under the oil drain and carefully remove the drain plug and drain the oil. Dispose of the used oil in an environmentally safe manner, based on your local regulations. After the oil is drained, install and tighten the drain plug. If equipped with a drain hose, return it to the storage location. Before I remove the filter, I'm going to use a couple of shop towels, place them just to catch any residual oil, and reduce my cleanup. Use a filter wrench, I'm going to loosen and remove the oil filter. Make sure that the old sealing ring comes off with the filter. Then we'll carefully clean the filter mount. Apply clean oil to the gasket filter to help ensure proper seal when tightening. Install the filter and tighten until it makes contact. We'll use a filter wrench and we'll tighten an additional three quarter to one full turn. Remove the fill cap and add the recommended amount of oil for your machine as listed in the manual. Don't overfill. Running overfull can cause oil foaming that reduces lubrication, which could damage the engine. It's very important to use the appropriate oil weight or viscosity based on what temperature range your machine will be operated in. Bobcat 5W40 synthetic oil is the best choice in all climates, and this weight synthetic is the only choice approved in cold climates. Bobcat 10W30 conventional oil can be used when not operating in cold climates. See the engine oil chart in your manual for more detail. After adding the correct quantity of oil, install a fill cap. Start the engine again and allow it to run for several minutes. Then stop the engine and check for leaks around the oil filter. Remove the dipstick, wipe off the oil, and fully install a dipstick. Remove the dipstick again and check the oil level. 
If the level is not in the middle of the acceptable range, add oil as needed. Be careful not to overfill. Between oil changes, the oil level for your machine should be maintained within the marks on the dipstick. Once the oil level is correct, install a dipstick and close the compartment.